Hey Jet guys, uh, I'm gonna have a little discussion with you guys uh, for newbies about uh, UATs and uh, how they work. Now this is not meant to show any product in a bad way. I received the uh, uh, two UATs from uh, one company um, in an airplane and they just totally be uh, totally unusable uh, as a gas tank and as a UAT. So I figured I'd make this video for you guys. Um, so basically with the Supra Jet, which is also the same thing as if you buy an uh, Arowana, you get this as a, uh, as a UAT. Now, if you look at it closely, closely you'll see that the tank uh, has the clunk, not in the middle of the tank and not exactly at the bottom or at the top either. Um, and it almost reaches down to the bottom. That is not a UAT. And this is not a proper gas tank. I don't know what the heck they were thinking But this is not um, what I would consider a proper UAT. Now there's many other brands out there, um, but let me show you. Uh, for it to be a UAT, the clunk must be in the middle, something about like right there, in the middle of the tank, top and bottom and left and right, not all the way to the back. This doesn't work as a fuel tank because then the line doesn't go to the top or the bottom. It, if the top, if you're inverted, what the clunk is supposed to go to the top and, you know, get the gas. If you're, you know, down at the bottom, um, using it as a regular tank, it, the, the clunk should be to the bottom of the, of the tank there. So it's always getting gas where there's gas available on this tank. Now, UAT stands for ultimate air trap. And there's many out, out there. Um, I believe the originator was BVM. I'm not gonna, um, you know, uh, go into discussion about that. Uh, um, this is MAP, it's also uh, the, the same style or the same actual um, outside tank that's used in the BVM ones, as far as I know. Uh, the BVM ones have a sock inside. This one, if you open it up, um, has a filter, like a car filter um, in line. And basically what it's supposed to do is pick up the gas in, in the middle of the tank. And that's what they, uh, this one does perfectly. It does it in a wide area, but it does it whether when the when the pickup line is in the in the middle of the tank. Uh, this will feed to your turbine. One is for the fill, and one uh, um, what do you call it? And the other one will go to the, your main tank. So whichever one of these you want uh, can be either the to fill to the main tank or to fill from the, uh, your outside source from your fuel tank. Now. <clears throat> to show you that I'm not trying to talk bad about their the product that I was I was provided uh, or purchased excuse me I took um, the clunk out of my AF models one of my L39s like the one behind me I took the tank out of there the UAT out of there and I converted the one I was given with the um, Supra jet or uh, if you want to call it the Arowana from uh, Baja Hobby that's fine I converted that to a proper UAT Basically, the clunk has to be in the middle, uh, like it is here. And you got your fill. One is to fill your airplane. This one is because it has a, the the cap on it. So this one would go back to your main tank, uh, and this one is what will uh, will go to your turbine pump. But uh, another thing about the uh, Arowana tank, or excuse me, Supra tank, whatever you want to call it, is that their clunk. Uh, it's also inadequate. It's no good. If you have one out there, you need to fix this or replace this. Basically, it's a two-piece clunk, and I don't know why they did that. Or The first time you fill this up, this is going to pop out. This is your pickup, and it basically separates on its own. Uh, I'm not, I didn't break it. I, I didn't force it. This is what happened uh, on the tank when I was trying to uh, put in the... The safety wire it, it just it, it snapped out now this is from the other tank this is the, the nipple and and here's the clunk it, it basically just it's held there i use a three cell uh, 2100 for my fuel pump and it doesn't provide i make sure it doesn't provide too much back pressure or too much pressure so that it it, it won't expand the tanks but i mean this thing is just loose in there so if you have one of these airplanes out there, you need to check the, the clunk, uh, see if it came out. And, um, you know, I don't see a problem with the tank uh, as long as you modify it 
adequately or change the clunk on there and make it be in the middle of the center of the tank. Like I said, you know, once you put it in the middle like this, you're fine. Uh, you, you should be fine. The only thing I need to do to this that I, on my side is I'm going to safety wire all of that. Um, I'm going to put safety wire in this line. I'm going to put safety wire in that line. When I take out the gas cap, I'm going to safety wire here and inside of the cap there so it doesn't come out. Obviously, I'll have a safety wire on the outside. Um, some of you would not do this, and that's fine. It's just your choice. Uh, if you wanted to go uh, better on the UATs, we have uh, the Interco line. There's many other brands that look the same. It's basically a gas container. Um, this one's are sold by Global Jet Club. And basically, it's, it's a glass container on the outside. And then the inside has the, the pickup. It is right in the middle. It's in the middle uh, of the tank going up and down, left, right. That's where, where the fuel for your turbine is going to go. Um, this bottom rod right here is to fill or empty the tank should you ever need to. That way, if you ever need to empty it, you can get the full amount of gas in there. Um, when it comes out, in the, out of the box, you have to install your little uh, the nipples on it. Uh, it'll come with the washers that you have to install on the nipples before you attach them to, to the actual tank, like so. Um, and that's about it, about um, UATs. I mean, there's many brands and there's many styles out there. Choose whatever works for you. Uh, I'm just showing you some of the examples because I had um, one that needed fixing. Hope you guys enjoy the video.